Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are four cities. They are located in a straight line from west to east in that order. Okay, so uh, this is west and this is east. And uh, they are in different time zones. Right? So time zone based question. Uh, this diagram shows the distance between the cities. So 2000 km from here to here, 4000 from here to here and 2000 from here to here. So this table gives the schedule of some non-stop flights between these cities. So from Q to P, R to Q, S to R, R to S, Q to R, okay, and P to Q. Now the times given are in 24 hours format. I hope you understand 24 hour format. Like 21.30 means 9.30 p.m. Right. So if it is less than 12, that means that is in a.m. And let's say 1600, that means 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. Okay. Now that is the thing given to us and then also given that all planes fly at the same speed in both directions. However, the effective speed is influenced by a wind blowing from east to west at 100 km per hour. Okay. So first of all, what we will do is we will find out the time duration that they took. Okay. So duration of, so what in this case it is 1 hour, in this case it is 2 hours, 0.5 hours. This is 4 hours, okay, and this is 7, and uh, this is 1 and a half. Sorry, 5, uh, this is 18 to 21, 3 and a half hours. Now, you must be wondering that how can we get, like, how to solve this thing, that time delay part, okay. So, let us say if you go from west to east, right, so it is ahead of the time. Let us say this is, uh, let's just taking an example. Let us say P and Q, it is two hours ahead. Okay. So suppose it is uh, like 10 a.m. here. So it will be 12 p.m. here at the same time. Okay. And if you go behind, let's say R to Q is three hour behind, like there is a difference of three hours. Okay. So that means that if it is 10 a.m. here, in that case, it will be 7 a.m. here. So accordingly, we have to find the timing thing. Okay. Now, also we are given that the speed is different in both directions because the, the speed of airplane is same, but there is a wind blowing. Okay. So that is east to west. So wind is blowing at the speed of 100 in this direction. Now, what happens is, let us say if the speed here is let's say speed of airplane is A, okay. So when you go from west to east, the speed will become, so it will be reduced. So the speed will become A minus 100, okay. But when we are moving in east to west direction, so this speed is in the direction of airplane, so the speed will get added up. So the effective speed will be A plus 100. Right. So that is one part that is related to the relative speed of the plane. Right. So these are the speeds of the plane. Now, second thing about the time zone. Okay. So suppose we are going, now if you see there is a pair given here, like Q to P and P to Q. So when we go from Q to P, what will happen is we are going behind in time. Okay. So uh, let us say uh, it took us two hours. Okay. Just taking an example, it took us two hours, but we are getting a duration as one hour. So that means that one hour, since it is already behind one hour, so it will appear that it took just one hour. Okay. On the other side, if you go from P to Q, it let us say it took it took three hours. Okay, but it appears as three and a half hours because this time is already ahead. So the time gap between two cities will be constant, right? Let us say let us solve for this, right? So Q to P, the time gap would be, let us say, T hours, okay. So when we go from Q to P, right, this is flight time plus time gap. So we will have to consider both the things, right. So if we, if we are going in this, let us say the flight time is uh, T1, okay. And since we are going in this direction, so time gap will, uh, like if you go from P to Q, uh, if we are going from Q to P, so flight time, let us say, is T1 
and since we are going in the opposite direction of time zone so it will be time gap will be minus t so time gap time gap between these two cities but if we go from p to q suppose flight time is t2 then we see that the time gap will be plus t because it will appear that we have moved ahead of time so it, it looks that it took more time okay so if we add this we will see that t1 plus t2 is equal to 4.5 okay so t1 flight time of both the directions added is 4.5 okay so if we look at this pair also s and r that also turns out to be same because the distance is same right so if we notice this now t1 is what uh, like t1 is going from q to p so q to p means that in the east to west direction so this is t1 so this is basically your speed in this direction so for the first sec scenario second scenario so t1 is distance upon speed so distance is 2000 km speed is a plus 100 and t2 is 2000 upon a minus 100 so this total is 3 4.5 hours okay so you want to solve the equation you can solve the equation but by just by looking at the values right if you uh, just uh, look at the estimate values you can say if you put 900 here if you put 900 here then it becomes 1000 so it will be 2 and this will be 800 that becomes 2.5 so that is 4.5 so satisfies in case of this pq right so uh, now let us look for another scenario like sr and rs that is the same thing right 2000 kilometer we see the differences we see the total time is 4.5 if we take case of r and q okay, r and q the distance is 4000 kilometer and we get the same thing like if you see 2 hours and 7 hours okay so it comes at like 4000 upon a plus 100 plus 4000 upon a minus 100 that is equal to total 2 plus 7 9 hours and if you put 900 it is 4 hours plus 800 divide uh, 4000 divided by 800 is 5 that is 9 so this perfectly fits so the speed of the plane is 900 km per hour okay now we have to answer what is the time difference between p and r okay so if we see p and r now let us find out the time difference between pq QR and RS, all these three separately. Now, when we move from P to Q, okay, so P to Q, it is showing three and a half hours. Actual time taken will be speed in this direction is 800, right? So, uh, 2000 by 800, the time is two and a half hours. Okay. Two and a half hours, but it is showing us three and a half hours. That means there's a time gap of one hour. Okay. So, it is plus one ahead of P. Right. If you want to see in the reverse way, that will also be true. So Q to P, the distance is 2000. The speed will be 1000 because in this direction it is 1000. So it should take 2 hours, but it is taking just 1 hour because it is 1 hour behind. Okay. So if it is 1 hour ahead, we will add the time. If it is behind, we will subtract the time. So this is done that P to Q, the difference is time difference is of 1 hour. Now let us talk about Q to R. Q to R, if we see it is showing us 7 hours, okay. But in actually, if you go from here to here, it should take 5 hours. It should take 5 hours, but it is 7 hours here. So that means R is 2 hours ahead of Q. Now, similarly, let us find for R and S. Now, R to S, it should be 2000 kilometer, that is 2.5 hours. But R to S, if we see, is 4 hours. That means it is 1.5 hours ahead of R. Okay. So, total time gap, we can find that this is Q is 1 hour ahead of P. R is 2 hours ahead of Q. And S is 1.5 hours ahead of R. Okay. So, this is the difference between the consecutive time gaps. Okay. Now, the question is, what is the time difference between P and R? So, P and R, this is 1 plus 2 total of 3 hours. Next question is, how many, how much time in hours will a plane take to fly from P to S? Okay. 
Now P to S the distance is 8000 kilometer and speed is going to be uh, like this, this is the again speed that is 800. So it will take 10 hours. Now see it is saying it will take to fly, right? It is not talking about the time zone. Okay, so that you have to tell that how much time will it take? It will take 10 hours for the plane to fly. Now next question is different. It says if the plane departs from S at 5, that means 5 a.m., what time will it arrive at Q? So we have to go from S to Q. Okay, S to Q the distance is 6000 kilometer and the speed is 1000. So it will take 6 hours. So ideally it will be 11. Okay, if it was not a time zone based question, you would say that it would be at 11 a.m. Okay, but since the time is ahead, right, it is one and a half and two, three and a half hours ahead. So we will subtract three and a half from 11. So that is seven and a half. That is 7.30. It will be at 7.30. So whenever a plane flies from east to west, it appears that you have reached early. And whenever it flies from west to east, it appears that it took more time to reach that destination. So this is how we solve these uh, like time zone based questions. And uh, also it, it was a very good set because it involved time zone as well as wind speed. Okay, so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. So if you enjoyed this, please do like this video.